हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू हाथी योगा डे फाइव ऑफ द क्लास विथ मी सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सम आसनास फॉर इम्प्रूविंग द हिप फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड इंक्रीजिंग द स्टामिना एंड द स्टामिना एंड फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ऑफ योर कोर एंड योर मसल्स सो दैट यू कैन स्ट्रेंथन योर सेल्स मोर एंड बिकम लिटिल मोर रेसिस्टेंट to external stimulus or any disturbances around you so let us go into the yoga asanas before starting i would like to show you the props which i have so i have a pair of 1.5 kg dumbbells with me a towel a red towel for improving your hip flexibility and for strengthening when you doing the asana and also a set of two uh, pillow cases pillows which i'm using instead of some other uh, some other uh, uh, you know help support or help like a waist band or a band which can be worn around your legs so that you are exercising well that helps shape and tone your thighs and flexes your legs so let's get started so the first asana which is going to come up right on your screen is kamavakrasana in order to perform the asana lie down on the floor relax you get up from the side keep your legs on the mat in this fashion extend your hands backward and slowly raise your hips to come to a bridge like position so the advantages of this asana are it helps in flexing your whole body especially your hips your thighs leg muscles and the back of your hand so that you can use this for toning your arms and reducing your weight increasing the benefits to your body slowly come down this asana done over a period of time say over 3 to 6 weeks on alternate days can definitely help you in losing inches around your waist okay so hope you are happy with that that news so let's start with the next asana which is padmasana so let me show you one or two variations of padmasana so this is as all of you know the lotus pose in which you put the left leg on top of the right thigh and the right leg on top of the left thigh go back with slightly relax come into the position and hold with the chin mudra so for showing few variants of this you can make a pillow case put a pillow case in front of you making it stand like this take a dumbbell in both your hands and slowly bend forward this is padmasana in the floor position that your head should go slightly down and touch the pillow slowly come up remove the dumbbell as soon as you do this now take the next pillow case to take one more variation of this asana keep your leg in a diagonal position on the pillow use the other dumbbell and flex it so that you can slowly travel down and while you traveling slightly bring your leg backward and slide it under your thigh and slowly come to a resting position with this dumbbell holding the pillow or the floor slowly rise put the dumbbell back in its, in its position and slowly come and remove your leg from the right thigh and slide it under your right right leg and come to a sitting position so 
this asana is known as padmasana or lotus pose in which your body resembles a lotus it's very good for increasing your stamina especially if you get into the longer practice of doing it for higher durations then it definitely helps you to tone your muscles especially your abdomen muscles and the muscles behind your hand there is the triceps as well as the lats the lats and the triceps which helps you in improving your efficiency in doing everyday work because you can do things more quicker because you lose your you burn you lose muscle and you burn fat so this is also a fat burning exercise so that's about padmasana now let's go into the last asana which is wide leg child pose let me show you how turn to one side of the mat and slowly sit down in vajrasana now extend your leg towards the sides by pressing the floor with both your hands and slowly shifting your legs now bring the towel to keep between your legs so that you are able to keep a constant width and you don't suddenly unfold your legs and come into a cramp position because if you bring your legs any more closer it will cramp your thighs when you try to touch the floor so slowly bring it into this position you can even have a pillow crease between both your thighs when you're going down but this is always not essential for those who can practice just by measuring the distance between their legs and thighs and slowly coming into a crawling position the towel should be fine slowly go down slowly and slowly reach out to the floor with your hands to the maximum extent possible and slowly slide your head down slowly look up take a breath and get into the asana with the total posture that the asana brings Slowly come up. Rest both your hands on the mat and slowly turn to one side. This can also be practiced with two dumbbells or with a single dumbbell. Let me show you the last variation of the asana. Hold the dumbbell in front of you and just check whether you are able to hold it with one hand. Slowly move it behind you. as if you are practicing a tricep extension now slowly come back into this position in which it's held stationary in front of you this is just to check that you can hold the weight of the dumbbell comfortably between both your arms when you are doing the practice slowly move along the dumbbell slowly slowly and put it down and push yourself like a dumbbell on to the floor spread your hands slightly and calmly breathe taking normal inhales and normal exhales Slowly, get up. Slowly, slowly. Without overly arching your spine, you have managed to do this asana. So, congrats to all of you on that. Slowly remove the dumbbell and keep it in its position. Remove the dumbbell and place it on one side. 
come to a sitting position. So friends, we have had a wonderful session practicing three key asanas which are an inverse to the back bends which we, which we have been practicing for the last two classes. I am sure this will help you to recover your muscles and also eliminate any injury which you normally face when you get into your daily work life. So let's all pray for a peaceful day and for a peaceful week ahead by chanting the Om Mantra along with me. Close your eyes and place your hands in Chin Mudra. Take a deep inhale. Thank you and Namaste.